All right, mic check, one, two, one, two. What is up, family? Demondre Douglas here. And we're going to review this little, or big printer, I should say. It's the Canon Image Class MF24. Um, hundred bucks at Walmart. Is it better than the HP of the same price point? We're about to find out. Some regular paper, some photo paper. Let's just see what this bad boy can do. We're going to switch it to the widescreen and do the unboxing. We're going to set it up and then we're going to see what it happens. See what it see what happens. Damn. Love y'all. All right, guys. Douglas here. This Canon M2. I had to be doing this unboxing for you guys. We got scan, copy, print, fax, Wi-Fi, everything you need in a modern day printer. Specifically, this thing will do 28 pages per minute. You can do mobile printing, it has the Ethernet cord, pretty much every port you need on a printer these days. So let's check out what you get. So we'll get a shot of this from the top. Do you guys see this with me? Ooh, all styrofoamy. Nice thick manual by today's standards, anyway. Pretty sure that's just multiple languages. Yes. CD, that's what's up. Most of the time it's like, go to this website, download this. So if you don't have internet, which I don't know why you wouldn't, you're still good to go. All right, so we have power cable neatly attached. Nice light green with the nice ducks and geese. Go that to the side, that to the side. And here is what you came for. Not the power cable, of course. But the unit itself, I want to grab this bad boy with two hands. So let's go back. everything down, tape everywhere, tape on the scanner, actual printer, and the screen itself. As I stated before, needed power, so we have it on this lovely table, and we're about to hook up the power cord. This is where it gets tricky, the ink cartridge. Definitely want to follow these instructions, or you will be fucked up. It looks slightly complicated compared to the normal printers for some reason. However, we're going to get it to work. So I'm gonna take this. And pull this off. Yes. Can't show you that. Important numbers. 
All right, you wanna plug your power cord into the wall. On the back left side of your printer, you're gonna see the power cable at the bottom. You just wanna look at the inside, line up the prongs, plug and play. Just like how you got here. Okay, this is actually complicated. So I'm going to walk you through this. I'm going to explain this. Once you see how it's done, you'll say, oh. So we're going to close everything back down real quick. All right, voila. You just got your printer. You just hooked it up. You need to use it to print. However, they have a couple protocols in place just to make sure that the ink doesn't spill out everywhere. So, first, if you lift the top, it's going to lift the scanner part. So, pick up from the screen itself, it's going to flip. You lift up the whole unit. Once you lift up the unit, there's another door. There we go. It's going to grab it from the side, lift up. That's going to get you to the internals. You're going to have an orange film right here that's going to have this orange paper on it, as it shows you right here. You're just going to pop it out. It squeezes out. It's bendy. Once you pop it out, you're going to separate the big tag on it, which I did. Tore it off. Just a little red tape. Then you're going to pull out the actual ink cartridge. This is where it gets tricky. You're going to have to rotate it until it's in the same position as it is on the diagram. And once you get to this position, right here at the top, left-hand corner, there's an orange flip. You're going to have to remove that. That covers the actual copper, the actual connector that allows the computer, uh, not computer, but that allows the printer and the ink to communicate. So once you peel that off, on the left-hand side at the bottom, there's going to be another latch right here. You can see number six. This is the most important one. When you open that latch, there's going to be a strip on it. That strip literally is preventing the film from hitting the paper. So you have to pull it all the way out. Don't be shy. It's going to feel like you're fucking up some, but you're not. It's going to stop once it gets to the safe area. All right, now let's put this thing together and make it print. All right, you're gonna be looking everywhere on this touch screen and this screen. I don't believe it's touch. But anyway, there's crap ton of buttons up here. However, the power button's on the bottom left. I have no idea why they did that. So, you are welcome. Next, you're going to want to load some paper. There are two drawers. You're going to pull this down. Immediately, you'll see the second drawer at the bottom. However, you're going to put your finger in this slot and pull this down. It's going to create a little tray. And this, you feel like you're going to break if you pull it too hard, but you're not. Pull it down. This is the first tray. You see the two sliders right here for all my older people. You just spread those apart. That's for if you want to put a letter or a full-size sheet of paper in there. So, correction, I set that backwards. Drawer 1 is on the bottom. Drawer 2 is on the top. Drawer 1 is for the regular sheets of paper. Drawer 2 is for your letters and your photo paper. So, yeah, when you take this paper off the orange thing, don't put it back in there. Or it's going to say, toner not closed. You can watch me slide this in here. I've done this enough now to. It's simple. The electric part with the whole. The electric part with the little pole sticking out. You just line that up. And this bad boy slide in. You feel it snap into place. This will close all the way. And there we go. Yay. You can hear it doing this thing. It just printed me out a little test sheet. We hooked it up to the Wi-Fi via the WPS. Just push it on the top of your router. And let's copy something. Let's copy this little orange paper. 
that came with it. thing yeah <laughs> all right excuse my excitement as you can see perfect literally all praise to the most high but yeah man that was the unboxing and setup of the canon image class mf24 it's a great office printer not cheap, but worth the upgrade over the $50 and $60 printers for sure. Just with the Wi-Fi alone, you can print from your phone, you can print from your laptop, you can print from upstairs. You can print while you're not even at home as long as your printer is connected to Wi-Fi, which is dope. Love you all. Thank you for 120 subscribers. However many. Thank you all. It's a slow grind. I'm going to keep on um, posting whatever I can get my hands on. Shout out to my mom. This is her printer. Y'all be blessed. From the phone. All right, you saw it from the phone. Now you're going to witness it from the computer. Typed up a little something in Word. We're going to go to the left, file, print. For all my techies, you know, you can just hit Control P. Automatically pops up, connecting to the printer. And there's no Bluetooth, so you have to be on the same Wi Fi network in order for it to show the printer whether you're on your phone or your laptop you're going to hit the print button and can't say instantly however rarely quickly here it gets to printing And we got an error message. So we're going to print up the print box. We're going to hit restart. I believe that was because I was in the network setting on here. However, we shall see. Now it's not responding. Give it a second. The window is mine. So, for whatever reason, our Wi-Fi light was blinking. The wireless settings light was blinking. So I just erased the connection and redid it. And now we're good to go. For whatever reason. Kind of glad I ran into that issue. So I was able to show you guys just in case. Because the computer was saying it was connecting. It was actually showing it as connected. However, the blue light on the printer was blinking and it finally dawned on me that it was just something wrong with the connection. Three documents waiting. Can we? Oh, let's get the printer printer. Let me hit print. 
see if it's going to go through or we're going to get an error message. I'm looking for this data processing light to start flashing. That will let you know that your printer and your computer are actively talking. The blue is just to let you know that the network is established, internet-wise. And of course, error is if something is wrong, like when I didn't have the toner tray closed all the way, it flashed red. So it took me about 15 minutes to figure out what was going on. You actually got to go in your devices and printers and allow your computer to talk to your printer to share it. Everybody's about privacy and whatnot. So you're going to have to go into your settings. You're going to have to hit. It's going to say Bluetooth and other devices. Once you hit that tab, you'll see another tab for devices and printers. And it'll bring up the little icon of your printer and your laptop. Double click it, it'll give you all types of information. Let's go back to Word and see if that fixed it. Still says also your printer will not print while it's in energy saving mode if you don't change that from your computer. All right, family, as you can see, it's not the easiest thing to do in the world. However, it's not the hardest. Overall, it was a good experience. It challenged me a little bit. I'm sure it will challenge you too. The print jobs look good. I wouldn't say great. However, I've used everything from a $20 printer to a thousand plus dollar printer that is so big it, it would literally take up the balcony. I, I'm serious. Um, for $100, it's a great deal. Period. I'd even say $120. It's a great deal. If you have to pay more than $120 minus taxes, you got robbed. You get it for any cheaper, great freaking deal. Um, I give it an 8 out of 10. Obviously, more money will get you better quality, but again, for your own home office, personal business, entrepreneur, um, just randomly printing things, it's a pretty damn good printer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment below. Love you guys. I'll see y'all on the next one.